you can mention it in your own words you can critically analyze the answer it need not to be the same Dalits who fought for the rights of water and they were profusely beaten up to bleed and die you don't have four marks but alas you have six prepare yourself for the worst you can drive the way you want you can drive the trials and tribulations hello once again I'm Sony Puamma, yet again crossing your path with another new session of question and answers. Why is it so very important that we discuss question and answers on pertaining subject? So that you will have a learning etiquette, you will have a writing etiquette because etiquette is only the way a student can perceive to succeed and persuasion in all the ways that is much essential. It's not enough only to be as a stakeholder. You have to be a renowned student. You have to be a renowned stakeholder to say that yes, I am educated. Yes, I am enlightened. I can impart, I can educate the few who are deprived. But before that, what is education? What do we study in our textbook? Whatever we study in the text, do we really consider or adapt in a normal life or in a regular life? The answer is no. You would not yes, you would not no. But the answer is constantly saying no, no and no. There is a big taboo in the human mankind or humankind. So what is that? Gender bias, caste bias, regardless to the other. This is what we are living in the society such. We have been witnessing the Dalit incorporation all the way around the globe. Since Nelson Mandela and Mahatma Gandhi would have gone against all the odds only to get the equality. It never fetched a fruitful result. Yet for the certain time we all knew what is good and what is bad. So it's not only human beings who have witnessed this, it's also water that we are studying about has witnessed the gender bias, the caste inequality, the gender inequality, the caste inequality, but here it's precisely the caste inequality. We are normally talking about the Dalits who are known to be the deprived one. Deprived would be very derogatory, but still that's what it confines to be. The Dalits who were ill-treated in the society in the name of development, in the name of education where there was completely illiteracy over to their regard and the best example stands so the best paradigm who fought against all the wards showing the hand signaling to the future Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. We have seen the statue of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar posing a cross and what does this mean? This means pointing out to the future that your future is bright, there where your future is, what it is present need not to be tomorrow future is very bright let's look forward to the future if you are a Dalit if you are a tribe if you are a SC ST not to mention any but water has seen everything it's not only you and me who have witnessed this inequality it's also water just a liquid form is what we say have witnessed this as well so let's continue the legacy here is the quote and not asserted by the poetess herself Inequality is the root of social evil. Do I have to really explain the assertion of the quote? It's not really necessary because you are mature enough to understand the deep meaning. When I say inequality and social evil, what is connecting these two? It is the root that is connecting the two. Let's connect inequality and social evil. So when we take it out in and equality let's take it away evil here equality is a root of social in the sense that once we have equality that's termed out to be a frame of social life we human beings stand responsible for our downfall who created this caste did god say that you are a brahmin you're a kshatriya you're a shudra you're a vaishya no it's only man who created everything according to their stature the one who worships God, they are Brahmins. The one comes with the under of the profession like cobblers or be it anything such. They are derived out of their profession. So caste derives profession. So we stand responsible for our own downfall. And it's not only human beings or the texts that have been witnessing the inequality. It's also water as it goes. You should have watched my video by now. 
without video watched and the text along i've told you it's futile futile and futile that's why i have used this red mark so it says you are in danger if you did not watch my video all right let's go forward the one mark questions of course the expression when they say expression it's not the facial expression the expression in the sense you can see the oblivious expression in the terms of writing the expression generations old strife understand what is the meaning of generation since then your father's generation your grandfather's generation the legacy that have followed we all are the progeny of our parents your parents are progeny of their parents so generation which starts on and on it's going 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 it's dripping so expression generations all the strife it's not new it's not a new message that it is spreading across it's been followed by the same of the generations or old anybody could fathom about what does that suggest the base of caste system it's not this generation that we are facing the inequality and also it's as old as anybody could fathom about it's been existing in the centuries ago to mention so what is the expression talking about the base of caste system we all follow casteism we all have inequality but yet you cannot talk about it in open society why because it's a crime i can go behind bars talking about any of the deprived one where is the justice everybody are ill treated but we cannot voice it out that's the irony of life and irony of society as well next it also knows the sub when it says it it refers to water in the context it also knows the sub caste difference between leather and spool i have told you the caste depends upon the profession you decide on a caste depending on your profession so what is it leather and spool stands for a a cobbler and weaver so mentioning about it is cobbler and weaver i have given it a here so that it doesn't confuse you okay cobbler and weaver so there can be other profession also so mentioning about one as it is in the context of the text it refers to cobbler and weaver they are termed out to be the lower category and next how is water a witness to the humiliation what is the meaning of humiliation humiliation is nothing but shame when you are insulted so humiliation is nothing but shame caused to the dalits so dalit plays a pivotal role here we are talking about dalits who are deprived in terms i have told you there is nothing derogatory here there is nothing of the pejorative way of talking while i say i am a hindu i am a muslim i am a christian religion is nothing but our mankind so do i take it for dalits also they are as human as we are yes inequality prevailed inequality exists till now in the name of education everybody has spoiled they in the name of inequality there are people who are well talented but yet they are kept aloof in the name of caste so here what is that water has to spread the message how is water a witness what has water witnessed from a wada girl if you have watched the video i have shown you the illustration also as illustration resembles thousand words it's better or worth of thousand words i have showed you how they are humiliated you should have watched the video if not i am going to bang you right left and right next so here you can say varna system you can mention about the varna system you can mention about the varnas again to pour water from a higher level so everything you can even mention about a wada girl here wherein she went to collect the pot of water and they had to drench her across and rather for falling into the pot she was completely drenched and dripping in the sense that they were unworthy is what the upper class wanted to term it as so here you can mention it in your own words you can critically analyze the answer it need not to be the same you, you have to mention the caste the wada girl example and how they were ill treated all the women they would have undertaken next circus feared context this is this is very contextual you can find it in the text circus fear refers to what is that circus fear when do you do a circus when you cannot balance isn't circus is nothing but you balance so what is that balancing the water pots on the head watching my video when the line comes it's very palpable on to the next side how they balance the pots you'd have seen in movies also wherein the women walk the farther distance they balance the pots over and over their pots again and again even you can see that their children without education 
who travels the farther distance only to fetch water and they balance. So life is the circus for them. When it says circus sphere, it's not only the pots that they are in the circus sphere, it's also, they also mention to the life, their life is nothing but sabbatical. They have to surpass all the bad hurdles which they are not mentioned about. They are not destined to be. In the name of caste, people are exploited, the Dalits are exploited. And this takes me to the other form of question. Water is a, you have multiple choice here. So consider water. Water is not just a liquid form. It's not only an H2O. Here you have answers. Do not go with this. Most of the time you can even have another answers also. The multiple answers can be suffice. Next. Liquid called water? No. Catalyst for a moment? Yes. It was a reason for a moment. But you can consider also witness to strife? Yes. Life giver and destroyer? Yes. It can give you life also. It can destroy because there were Dalits who fought for the rights of water and they were profusely beaten up to bleed and die. Next. Means to practice untouchability? You can consider. Next. Profit making commodity? Yes. As you keep witnessing the poem, you can see that water stylishly, just like Madonna, sits inside the water bottle and tagged as 30 rupees, 50 rupees, wherein there are people who cannot even fetch water from the pond. So how biased water can be is what the statement says. Next, next question. Who does not have the right to draw a water or a pot of water? It is the Panchamas, Panchamas do not have the right. So in Dalits, you, are, you have the juxtaposed also. You have Shudras, you have Panchamas, you have Brahmanas, you have Kshatriyas, you have everything. More than people, you have caste mentioned. So it is a Panchamas. And this takes me to the familiar question adjoiningly. Who opposed the Kamma landlords? You have to find it in the text. Seeing answer here wouldn't help you at all. While the time I keep questioning you. You have to have a notion of answering. Though we cannot do that, but we can virtually understand each other. That's how we are connected. Next, to which movement is the movement for water compared? There are many movements that undertook, isn't it? So which is that movement we are talking about is compared to her Mahat struggle at the Chadal tank. So you have to know this in Mumbai. So you have to know everything. See here, this also a Dalit youth and Munangi Suvartama. So you have to be familiar with the names also. Next. What does the poet compare untouchability to? What is that he is comparing untouchability to? He compares to the dampness on the well's edge. The way the well can never be evacuated. It can never be drawn away. In the same way, caste system also is something that will prevail till the generations to follow. So you can add it up in your own way. Next, it's a six mark question. You don't have four marks, but alas, you have six. Okay, what sort of questions are we mentioning about? Discuss the trivial suffer. Travels in the sense, the difficulties. You pronounce it as travails suffered by the Wada people. You have, when I say Wada, it can be any Wada girl who was completely drenched and dripping. People while securing water. See, it's an irony. They cannot secure water. They can't draw water at all. But still the poet states it as securing water. What all the difficulties they would have faced? Checking onto the video, checking onto the textbook. It might help you, but you understand when you write this, you have to underneath or underline complete answer with highlights. Whenever you feel that, you have quoted something from the text, underline that. And you have to add additional quotes onto this. The time it says, Vada girl was drenched and dripping. You have to add it in the quote and you have to elaborate. Next, look at the expressions. Many a circus fit, it shows the trials and tribulations of women. But where are men? Only women drink water. Do we? Where are the men? Why can't men draw water from the pot? Where are those men who in the name of masculinity subdue the femininity or feminine power? Where are men? It's unanswered. Nor I do I want to take it up. Okay. Uh, many a circus where you can see women carrying water pots from farther distance. And that has been a generation strife also. And dances its way into the Pepsi man's bottle. So it shows these are the contradictory. Many a circus feared. It shows that they don't have water at all. And the Pepsi man's bottle wherein 
it is completely decorated the thing or water which cannot quench the thirst what it has to do in the pepsi man's bottle that's the expression you can be very critical enough in answering this and it need not go only according to the text you are mature enough to answer the question as per your relativity next critically examine the poem water very easy i wish that you get this question only because you will answer it wisely you are virtuous enough to do so while well, while i say critically examine it's in your own words you have to have the writing etiquettes you have to critically examine the poem water you can write the way you want you can write the trials and tribulations whatever happens in your vicinity the one which you have witnessed you can write anything such yes this is what your question paper looks like you have the two way round the other phase also which was not utilized the last day because i thought that it's not evitable all right so here it's not replicating for the former of the questions because you have one term question here and what is that the one term question for six marks how does the speaker of water trace the journey of water using it as a witness here is where you have the question so this is how your question paper would look like and whenever you think that you have to skip one or the other answer or the question mind you everything is interlinked it is chronologically ordered it is in chronological order only so i tell you prepare yourself for the worst you prepare it for the best also you prepare it for the worst also understand every underlying statement all right so next what is that you have oops we are thanking you here's vidyashram for you standard retained on learning with all the former of the discussions the latter would be only on the methodologies the way you have to write the examination it doesn't matter what you write how you write is all that pertains to be until then i'll see you take care